hey loves welcome back to my channel so i am back i haven't been filming for a while but i am ready to create some content for you all so thank you if you're still here don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a comment and let me know your thoughts and opinions but in today's video we are going to be reviewing una gala i think that's how you pronounce it i'm not 100 percent sure but this is a nail tips and gel glue gel kit so that is really um exciting for me i love reviewing these type of things like this and i love the packaging very very beautiful and elegant so this is a very confined small package so that's a really good thing as well so here we are moving on forward to the user manual so here i love how it gives you some tips step by step with pictures and also some question and answers that a lot of people have or may have and then in the back we have the storage the warning and if you want to contact them you have their instagram and email so that's really nice and then this is what the nails look like so i did go ahead and choose some long nails because that is my cup of tea i absolutely love long nails i will be showing you that like i will be showing you guys what they look like more in depth afterwards just showing you briefly everything incorporates these are so so cute wow i absolutely love this didn't know i brought that and then we also get the standard usb and then we also get the lamp which is really cute says they're brown with the rose it has the lights and then the button here and also for you to connect it so really cute and compact and then lastly see if there's anything else nope and then lastly we have the nail glue so this is cured and it is valid for 12 months this is the packaging let me show you the consistency so it is thicker which i love for a nail glue to be thick and not runny so i like that but yeah i'm really excited to see what this is all about but now we're gonna move on forward to showing you guys the nails that i picked out so here we have size one i believe it's probably okay so it goes up to size 11 i believe so and um here i'm going to show you these are long nails so this is what they look like this is what they look like from the side and they're more like squared towards the cuticle not rounded so that's the shape they have and for example, this is what um, they would look like on a nail. So I kind of like took off the nails, but I kind of left that the top part on. But I just um, filed it down really well because if not, it just takes too long right now. But I'm just going to quickly go ahead and size out my nail tip. So when you're working with full coverage nails, you want to make sure that it goes sidewall to sidewall and if it's a little bigger or whatever you could always go and customize it yourself for example if you have a rounder cuticle area then you could go in with a file and gently file it to the shape of your nail bed until it's achieved and you're happy with it so mine is pretty square like this so it fits just fine these nails honestly they're pretty sturdy so you guys can see they're pretty sturdy um they don't bend easily so they're great quality i can tell you that so we're gonna do the same here make sure it fits sidewall to sidewall sidewall to sidewall and the shape is really nice. Also, I love how it narrows down like that and it's not wide or flared out from the free edge. So I really appreciate that as well. And to lay them. I always like to lay them like this to see them. 
And what I like to do is I like to grab my file. This is my go-to end and my favorite at the moment, the Tammy Taylor one. Stick and peel and stick disposable file. So this is 100 grit and um, these are disposable. I got this on Amazon for $10. And I just like to go and remove the free edge beforehand. And now I'm going to grab my e-file and this is my favorite, it's the Melody Susie one. I'm not 100% sure what it's called or anything, what particular model it is, but um, they had sent it over to me a long time ago or a while ago. And I'm in love with this drill, it's my favorite. So now we're just gonna go on over and what I like to do personally is pre-etch the inside of the nail by roughening the surface for better adhesion. But I only do it to where, up to like around where, you know, the nail is gonna stick to the glue and stuff. I don't go all the way down. What you would do for long lasting nails is grab your favorite primer or the primer that you prefer, primer of choice, and you would dehydrate the nails and you would prime them. So you would roughen up the surface with either an e-file at a low setting or a nail file, just like we did at just like we did in the inside of these nails, but onto your nail bed, and then you would apply the nail prep which is a ph balanced dehydrator so what this does it removes all the oils from the nails and then the second step would be to apply the extra bond this is a bond that um, you apply onto the nails for better adhesion long lasting nails and no lifting and this is for acrylic and uv gels so be aware of that because some of them are just for uv gels so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not the best explainer, but I hope you guys can kind of comprehend what I'm saying. And by the way, this is my go-to and the ones that I also use on my clients that I absolutely love and I find that works very well. This is my go-to, Mia Secret. And by the way, I did purchase this on Amazon. I believe it's anywhere between $15 or $17. I'm not 100% sure. It is very long-lasting as well. So yeah, that is what I love to use for long lasting nails and no lifting. And of course, if you're just practicing, you wanna remove the nails. I have two choices here that I think are very great. So I have the UNT, this one really pops off really easily, but this one, the Vetsies hold a little bit stronger so they don't pop off as easily during filing as opposed to this one most of the time when you're filing they will be popping off unfortunately but that's also a good thing for some people so it depends really what you're going for but these are the top two that i recommend showing you how this works so this is really cool because um you just pretty much place your nail and it'll start curing it but it doesn't have to turn off so it's like by sensitivity, I'm guessing. So we're gonna go on and apply the nail glue. With the nail glue, you don't need a lot. You just need like a little pea size. Okay, so I absolutely love these systems. I definitely recommend you guys try them out if you haven't. I'm really excited to test this out. so you don't need that much honestly um and if you guys want to see like more about nails and stuff like that um definitely follow me on instagram i will have it in the description box so yeah so after you're done this kind of smudged because i was moving it around but just make sure to start from the, always start from the cuticle, always. 
don't just lay it like that. Always have it like at an angle, like this, and then down. And then whatever spills, that means I applied too much product, which is perfect for you guys to see. I applied too much product, so it overflowed. So that stuff, so you don't want that. It's too much product. So always have a brush handy. But like I mentioned, start at the cuticle and go down. Just like that. Just like that. And then you put it under the lip. And be careful with this because sometimes you may get heat spikes. It also depends on how often you do your nails. I'm always doing my nails, so they're obviously thinner than the average person's. But yeah, so just be very like aware of that. If it hurts, just remove it. If you get like a heat spike. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. Um, very easy system, you know. The only thing I do wish about these nails was that they had more of an apex and they weren't so flat here. But other than that, I think they're great so far. So you only need about a pea size, honestly. You don't need that much. See how the glue overextends? You don't need a lot. So that's a good thing about this as well. This is what they look like. I absolutely am in love with the shape. I think it has a very, very pretty shape, but I was going and reshape no matter what, but I really love this shape. Now we're gonna move on to some quick shaping and filing. Now we're going to go in with the drill using a fine sanding man. It doesn't have to be necessarily a rough band, but it's up to you. I'm going in like at 7,000 RPM around there, anywhere between 5 to 7,000 RPM. And I'm just going to really go in and blend the cuticle area. So here we go. And we are also removing the shine off the surface of the entire full coverage nail.
these are what the nails look like after I've blended them in as best as I could and also shaped and filed them to my liking. This is what they are looking like. I really love the shape. I think it's really nice. And always make sure to um, see if your nails are straight and not crooked. For example, sometimes the pinky may be crooked. So you could always individually go like this and just check, you know. But yeah, so that is what they are looking like and I am loving them. So I did want to incorporate um, these little gems that they it brought like the little kid i think is super cute um i will have the link to everything down below by the way and if there's a discount code i will have it on the screen or down below in the description because i don't remember but um yeah now i'm just gonna see and brainstorm a little bit of what i will be creating here we have this base color that i'll be using it's like a really um Usually you would add base coat underneath before applying gel, but since it's for video purposes, I decided to skip that step. Oh, I found my new go-to, which is so amazing, just as amazing as the Inel Couture one, and you can get it on Amazon, and it's only like $10. I have two of them that were sent on over to me, amazing, 100 out of 100, and I love how easy it is to take out the product. It's super easy. I love how it has this thin this fine tip it just makes it a lot easier especially when you're dealing with like crystals this tiny and stuff so i am loving it i had to mention that
We're just going to quickly apply some cuticle oil. So this is it for today's video and these are the nails that I created. I decided to do some nice long bling nails just because I hadn't done a set in a while. Especially a set like this so I thought it was cute. Let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and opinions. But yeah that is it for today's video and overall I really loved these full coverage nails. They're strong, they're sturdy. I don't have anything negative to say other than I wish they had more of an apex, but other than that, they are very, very great. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next upload.